Well, we do know that you have plenty of questions about the vaccine, especially as it is being rolled out to more and more people. And we know a lot of people feel like Baruka there. Yeah. Our Dr. Frank Me George here with some rapid fire answers to several questions that have been submitted to us through clickondetroit.com. Doc? We've received lots of questions, so let's just dive in and get started. A viewer asks, if I had COVID, how soon should I get the COVID shot being 66 years of age? Simple answer, as soon as it's available to you. There's no reason to wait as long as you've recovered and are no longer in quarantine. A viewer wants to know, I had COVID-19 and was hospitalized and received the drug remdesivir. Can I receive the vaccine when my turn comes up? The answer is yes if you received remdesivir, but it's more complicated if you received either convalescent plasma or one of the monoclonal antibody treatments like bamlanivimab. The antibodies you received with these treatments might interfere or react with the vaccine. It's recommended you delay vaccination for 90 days after receiving these treatments. Another question, if I get injection number one but the second shot is delayed, what happens? It's recommended you get the second shot within four days of the date that it's due, 21 days from the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine and 28 days for the Moderna vaccine. Now that's largely because those time frames are what the studies that the emergency authorization relied on to show efficacy. It's possible that a more delayed second dose may be just as effective. We just don't know. The current recommendation is that if you cannot get it on time, you should get it as soon as possible. Now, a viewer asks, my second shot is due the day I leave for Florida for six days. Is it better to get the second dose before I travel, or is it okay to wait till I get back? Ideally, you should get your second shot on the day it's due, but just be aware that you might have side effects while you're out of town, so keep your schedule light. Now, finally, viewers have asked if they should take Tylenol or Motrin before the shot to keep from getting side effects. The answer is no. First of all, Side effects usually take a while to appear and the medication would likely have worn off by then. Second though, particularly in the case of Motrin, there is some question of whether it might decrease the vaccine's effectiveness. Another good reason not to take those medications. Back to you.